Topic. No, reviews, man. Whew. So Moon Knight, uh, episode five, season one. There's one episode left, right? Yeah. For six episodes. I mean, six, uh, yeah, six yeah. series. Yeah. Six episode season. Yeah. Fuck, I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, um, this one starts off with the two personalities talking to the hippo. Uh, <laughs> and the hippo is a, the god of what? Fuck. What was it? <sighs> I think she takes people to like, Measured their hearts. Yeah, she was measuring their hearts on like a scale with a feather. So it was like if their if their hearts lift up, that means they're good, and they get to go into the, like this pure afterlife. Yeah, it has to be not, balanced. Like if it's uh, weighs more than a feather, then you go to hell basically. And, yeah, but it's like hell and sand, and you frozen there for all of, all of eternity. Yeah. So she she basically just tally my both of them motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she was like, "Hey, y'all the same motherfucker. Y'all both of y'all hearts yeah. is like here, even though y'all both fucked up in some way." And then we find out what's actually wrong with Moon Knight, which I never actually know. I don't know if that's canon or not. What? Um, his mother gave him his uh, DID. Oh yeah, yeah. What, so whooping his ass. I basically, well, basically, it was a bunch of contributing factors. But, so it was I like think that belt changed it. I, I was mean, like, oh shit. <laughs> I, see, ass whoopers make superheroes and fucking musicians. <laughs> yo, ass whoopers make you great, dog. <laughs> if yo, if you if you just told me my mom to whoop my ass into a costume, <laughs> nigga, whoop me. <laughs> Beat my ass, mom. I, I did. I did all that shit. They talking about. Oh, used the belt as some of the costume quail man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take the belt. You take the belt and repurpose it as a, as a symbol yes. for good. <laughs> so you could be Pootie Tang or you could be Quail Man, nigga. Pick one. <laughs> quail Man. That nigga really had a belt. Fuck <laughs> That nigga wore his underwear on the outside of his khaki. <laughs> they got on khaki shorts. <laughs> Yo, Roger Claus was right, nigga. <laughs> Yo, that funny? <laughs> got, got fucking underwear on. <laughs> Watch out, skeet face. <laughs> skeet face. <laughs> now, that shit was wild. Oh, <laughs> There's no shit. way in hell you should have you been reimagined like that. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson. Yo, ass women's make, they make, they probably made mad at them porn stars, y'all like. She was like, oh, fuck nigga. you, dad. Yo, you'll see what I do. Your daughter sucking wild dick on TV. <laughs> She, yeah. imagine, imagine you go to the Nancy store <laughs> in the 90s. Imagine you go to the Nancy store and see your daughter on one of them shits. Uh, Ass Jam was part eight. Big Bodush. <laughs> what, what? Big Bodacious. <laughs> 38. Gaping Girls part seven. Uh, the, the only thing I didn't like about 90s porn is that these, these motherfuckers never shaved. It was just a big patch right here. <laughs> like, yo. Imagine your daughter was on Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> but it was but it was never no black girls on that. You got the Lupita throw down there. <laughs> See, the bush gives a character. Go <laughs> <laughs> ahead to work for this shit. Oh, man. Uh, man. Woo. He's a nasty nigga. <laughs> you know what I hate, too? Uh, when, <laughs> it, like, I hate it, but, like, I kind of admire it when, like, you chill with a girl, right? And she act like she trying not to give you the pussy. <laughs> then she wind up giving you the pussy. But then you look at it and it's freshly waxed. <laughs> you knew you, you was playing. <laughs> Why you was playing with me? Right. Oh, <laughs> Why you trying to play hard to get like you wasn't going to do me? I remember that shit happening when I was at, uh, I was in this college college dorm. Like She was like, you want to watch porn? I was like, uh, okay. It was like mad white porn. <laughs> She's like, you ain't going to get none. I was like, all right. Want to my titty? Like, yo, hey, that was the weird shit. Going? I don't know. It, was, it used to be this. <laughs> oh, he in jail now. <laughs> but it was this. <laughs> It was this kid on my Where's block. Going? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he used to act like he used to watch porn with like a bunch of dudes in the room. I, I don't think he's he might be gay in jail. I don't what? know. But nah, it was just, it was like you young and you curious and you think you can watch this with your boys and shit. So I'm like, like we're all in a room watching porn. Yeah. And I don't know how into it they are. I think we like 10 or 11 or like Ooh, maybe like 12 shit. or something like that. I don't know. But we watching porn. I'm like, don't nobody else feel funny watching this a bunch of niggas around? <laughs> like, I know my mind ain't that developed, but I know gay shit when I see it. <laughs> like, I'm like, this ain't weird to y'all. <laughs> oh, shit, niggas with a matinee or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can turn the volume all the way down. I'm like, dog, oh, we should, if we got to turn the volume all the way down, we shouldn't be watching this. Where'd you, first of all, where'd you get this from? <laughs> I remember one time I went to my friend's house. His, his older brother was watching that shit. He was like, "Yeah, look at this bitch take this dick." And I was like, oh, "Okay, like, you just in here by yourself." <laughs> yep, yeah. dog. I don't. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh man, women, women, are, women are special, yo. I remember this girl used to steal her mom's pornos and bring them to my house. And she, <laughs> you want to reenact this? <laughs> what? Her mom's pornos? That's new. Her mom, like her mom and her stepdad, used to had porn and she just know what they was and shit and she's just take them and give them to me it was like she should come to my house and we'll wash them she'd be like you want to do do that i'll be like <laughs> you want to do that <laughs> sure let's fucking try it <laughs> do all this yeah, doing well, it you ever, you ever put a bitch in a in a fucking wheelbarrow on a twin bed no nope. <laughs> your life ain't never rough as mine <laughs> <laughs> wheelbarrow <laughs> yeah, you, that's, when you, that's when you pick up right she her her her, her hands on the ground <laughs> and I'm holding the legs, but I'm fucking. <laughs> That's a lot. Hey, we tried it. That's I've seen dude watch porn on a construction site without stop work. I mean, hey, Ooh. on his break, you know what he about to do though. Mm. He about. <laughs> All right, so oh, Moon Knight. <laughs> oh shit! <Watch> that. <laughs> so Moon Knight got his yeah. DID from his mom. So Moon Knight Ooh. had a had a had a little brother. Um, and they went off into a cave and it yeah. started raining. The cave flooded, brother drowned, and his mother never really got over it. Yeah. Blamed his br- blamed uh Mark's Mark for it. And then uh Mark, I think for like two years or something like that, Mark was dealing with this, but then it was like one day his mom was in a when it was in a drunken rage, or she was in some 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 type of rage. Went upstairs to whip his ass. And then, then I guess to block out what was going on, he developed his personality of, of Steven. Yeah. And he got that from a movie he was watching, uh, which gave him the accent as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that begins the DID, and that's that I guess that starts the the, the shift between that the two. It was bad dark, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yo, this like, yo, this yo. shit, yo, this episode was so emotional, yeah. so dark, and just tells a lot about a lot of people. Y'all got fucked up childhoods <laughs> and just don't know it. But um oh, yeah, yeah, so basically uh, Steven and Mark are in the afterward. Like Steve, like Mark is dead. Yeah. At this point, uh, they're gonna put it. They're trying to put him back in his body or back on Earth because they see what Homie is doing with all the soul. Mm-hmm. So, um, Steven is going through a lot of Mark's memories because obviously he wasn't there for a lot of it. Yeah. And he's trying to see why Mark the way he is. He found this room where Mark had killed a bunch of people, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yo, are you really in a room where you killed everybody? Like you f- remember all these people? You said you try to take a life." Mm. And see if you don't remember it. Um, and then he saw his little brother in the room, and then mm. he was telling Mark, no, he was telling Stephen, don't go chase him. And then that brought up the memory of his brother dying. Um, they were in mad different rooms, mad different scenarios. There was shit about his dad. Apparently, uh, Stephen hasn't been talking to his mom on the phone. We don't know who he, who he's been talking to. <laughs> uh, his mother been dead for at least two years now. I want to say. Mm. Um, what else? Uh, Mark is trying to stop Steven from seeing these memories. I don't know why. I don't know if that's going to corrupt Mark. So, I mean, Steven, Steven somehow. I don't know he's why. trying to protect him from it. But why? That's him, though. I know. that. That's why he made him. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he thought it was going to be some sort of fucking chain reaction or breakdown if he's seen it. Mm-hmm. If his uh, personality that's, that's blocking the shit actually see it, and then it just collides and yeah. just goes crazy. Right. So then... Um, or maybe he just didn't want to deal with the shit. <laughs> It, That's why he made it. But fucking Steven was Mark. Didn't have, Mark was there. He don't have to relive the shit. But then, at the towards towards the end of the episode, uh, I guess Steven talked to Mark, and he was just like, "Yo, it's not your fault that your brother died. You were just a child." I guess Mark still carries that with him to this day, which is probably why he he's so angry. And he went to the army. Well, he he went to the army to get away from his mom. It seems like. Mm-hmm. Um. So he went to go channel that rage somewhere else, and you know, Mark S- Steven was telling him it's just not his fault. Um, and then they get back on the boat, the ship thing, trying to reach the, it's not the afterlife, it's some portal to, it's something, I don't know. Um, um well, what, what the hippo was saying is that they have to balance the scale before it gets to, like, the end of it, or, yeah, something. or, y'all to go, y'all not going to get yeah, hell. so basically, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all got time to repent for your sins and shit like that before we get to the gate, if, if this shit is one way or the other, that decides your fate. Yeah. Uh, at Suko, what up? He said, they create different personalities to protect them from the trauma they call, co- that cause the different personalities. Mm-hmm. Almost to forget and be able to exist without having that trauma in their memory slash life. You got a degree, you smart as shit. <laughs> um... So yeah, they on the boat, and I guess the I guess they're getting closer to the door, and I guess the hearts were heavier than the feather. Yeah. So then the little spirits from Ghost tried to come up, the little sand spirits tried to come <laughs> up, on, and they tried to drag Mark down to the sand where he would be frozen in time forever. Uh, Stephen 
sacrifices himself, mm-hmm. and Mark is on his way back to his body. Um, how does this work with no Kanshu, but he has two bullets in his chest? <laughs> <laughs> But that's what they were saying. She was like, uh, I can send you back to your body, but your body got two bullets in it. Yeah, like you won't be healed and no shit. Like, <laughs> like do you keep dying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know how this going to work. Like, you were floating in, like, this perpetual, like, sunken place, right? Yeah. So that was just, I guess, I guess that was, like, your spirit. But you sit in a fucking tomb in water, and you just bleeding out with mad Egyptian water in that wound and nastiness. Yeah. It's all types of, yeah, that shit is infected. It's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a way for him to free conscious you in that spirit world. Uh, to revert back to to life. Did Steven ever tell Mark that Kanchu wanted him to save him? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I don't he think ever I told don't. him that. <laughs> cause Kanchu, cause when Kanchu was doing the thing with the with the uh a thousand nights yeah, yeah. thing, he was like, tell Mark to come save me. Yeah. And I don't think Steven ever told him. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember that part. So now Steven's just going back to Earth to stop Homeboy, but he doesn't have the suit. So he he'll just get shot. I want to see what this next episode is. I think if, he gets shot to, if he gets shot again <laughs> <laughs> and just keep dying and coming back on the same boat. I think it's a way around that though. Like, cause uh basically <laughs> Steven's memories is Mark's memories anyway. Right. Maybe maybe them going through that whole uh you know basically therapy yeah uh collided their minds together and when when steven finally got frozen maybe his memories is his memories i don't know it, it's, it's some way around that so but i'm what it seems like is steven's gone forever because he's in this hell frozen so he so he sacrificed himself but i don't know how that works when you have dual personalities like ain't that just one soul i, I guess maybe maybe him <clears throat> fused with conch kind of like split him I mean, I get, I get I get the know. two hearts, and but it's the same body, same. It's just different parts of the same soul of one that I don't know. Maybe, maybe creates two two souls when Kanchu just came in, came in the mix maybe. because there's two different Moon Knights, probably three. I want to know who's in that casket they found. Yeah, that's probably the third personality. That's probably um, <clears throat> like I said, there's there's a lot of personalities to Moon Knight. There is, from what I know, there's a a little girl. There's a like. Not like an invalid, but like a, like just like a evil type of like a real evil evil. Um, Jake Lockley. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a porn guy or just like my real. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Lockley. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll see in episode six. That's the final episode. Um, I think it's another personality too. Um, yeah, I don't know what it could be, but I think it's the epi- It's gonna be the personality that maybe yeah, has it gotta be killed the because I feel like. Well, what they should introduce is, I guess his mom gave him the Steven personality, mm. and I want to say like the army or like the mercenaries gave him that another killer personality because you don't come from you you don't come from out of war just okay you yeah. got some type of PTSD and with him already having DID I could see him getting split into another personality just just piling up these bitches so that might be the killer one <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> said oh that's the one that killed all those Egyptian dudes yeah yeah basically um. But yeah, I guess we'll see on Wednesday. I guess we'll see what the fuck happens. 